Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video we had talked about material master data tables. However, in this video we will be looking at purchasing tables. So all the tables related to purchasing. So let's start. Okay, so these were the important tables that we had discussed. Okay, let's look at them one by one. So, so, so transaction to open is SE11. So I enter SE11 and I, uh, you know, will put the tables. So EKPO is a very important table. This is the purchasing document item. So if I go into EKPO, it will give me this uh, purchasing document item table. And uh, we have the purchasing document number, the item, and we also have different other fields, very important fields like material number we have. We have, uh, if I scroll down, I have the company code information, the plan, storage location, requirement tracking number and all important um, details like the purchase info record, the material group and all other tables. Target quantity, purchase order quantity. Okay, so let's move on to the next table. EKKO is the header table, very important again. If I click on here, I type in EKKO. So, so this is the purchasing document header table purchasing document header table and we have the purchasing document we have company code information we have the document category the document type if I scroll down we have other important fields like deletion indicator status of the purchasing documents date on which it was created and all important uh, details we have vendor account number we have terms of payment another important field next we can look at uh, this table eban which is the purchase requisition table so I click on here and this is the purchase requisition. So this has all information about the purchase requisition number, the item, the purchasing document category, document type, deletion indicator. We have release status, release indicator, purchasing group, etc. Next, look at uh, the purchase order history table EKB. So, so I type in EKB here. So this is the history of the purchasing document. So we have purchasing document number, item, the year, the number of the document. We also have uh, the movement type, posting date, quantity, very important field. So this is also a very important table. Next, let's look at EKET. So I will put this table in here, EKET, we have uh, the scheduling agreement schedule lines again very important table purchasing document number we have item we have we have delivery date we have scheduled lines if i scroll down i have uh, the scheduled quantity the issued quantity uh, various dates the purchase requisition number item of the purchase requisition and all other important fields next we can look at uh, the purchase info record table eine so i put the table here okay EINE. So we have the purchase info record. We have the number of the info record, purchase organization, category of the PIR, plant, uh, the purchase info, date on which the record was created. If I scroll down, I have various indicators, the purchase group, standard quantity, minimum quantity, etc. So we can look at EORD table, which is the purchasing source list. I copy it here. I paste it here. URD is uh, an, again important table. So this has information about the source list. We have material number, plant, the number of the source list, date on which it was created. If I scroll down, I have the vendor account number, the fixed supplier indicator. I have the agreement number and the item of the agreement. The okay, plant from which the material is procured and all important other fields. Lastly, let's, uh, let's look at T024, which is a purchasing group. Again, a very important uh, table. I click on here, uh, T024. So this is the purchasing group. So we have the client, the purchasing group. We have descriptions. We have the details of the telephone number. We have a, a telephone number, email address. So these were the important tables that uh, I wanted to show. In the next video, we will be checking more tables. So that is all in this video. If you got value from this video, do like, comment and share with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or feedback, share them in the comment section below. Till we meet again next time, you all take care and goodbye.